Serbia's police have banned a Euro Pride march planned for Saturday in Belgrade. The notice comes at the 11th hour after weeks of tension over staging the event. The authorities have cited a risk of clashes with far-right anti-gay activists. Pride March organisers are nonetheless furious. I think it's scandalous that after so many years of successful Pride Marches, it's been banned on the same day when our Prime Minister is here to open a conference on human rights. The reason for the ban supposedly is a threat to safety and security. Who's making the threats about the safety of pride marches? Why haven't these people been arrested? What's all this about? On Sunday, Orthodox priests and far-right nationalists marched demanding the Euro Pride rally be forbidden. They scheduled a new demonstration to coincide with the day of the pride parade. But this has also now been banned. Gay marriage is not legally recognized in Serbia, and it remains a culturally conservative country where homophobia is still deep-seated compared to Western European nations. Organizers of Europride have vowed to appeal the ban. At the former home of iconic film director Jean-Luc Godard, who died aged 91 on Tuesday, Local residents in the Swiss town of Roll are paying their respects to the man who is credited with revolutionising the cinema world. I had the chance to meet him and I asked him, aren't you Mr Godard? I think that lots of his films are going to be watched again. He was very frail but he was our Godard, always wearing his hat. French President Emmanuel Macron paid his respects to Godard, who was born in France and pioneered France's new wave cinema movement, saying his death was the loss of a national treasure. Dying with him raised very fixed ideas about a type of cinema that maybe doesn't exist anymore, or at least not in that style. It's a style of cinema that leaves a legacy. And the good thing about films is that we can watch them again. Goddard, who died by assisted suicide in Switzerland after struggling with illness, rose to fame in the 1960s with innovative films such as Breathless that influenced modern-day cinema giants, including Martin Scorsese and Quentin Tarantino.